In this video, made by US Frame Factory, we will be demonstrating the proper tools and fasteners that should be used when framing with light gauge steel studs that can be used to construct both residential and commercial buildings. If you're considering using light gauge steel studs for your next framing project, it is important to familiarize yourself with the two different kinds of pieces used to frame a wall. First, there are C-profile pieces with an extra lip on the inside. These are referred to as studs. Secondly, there are channel pieces without those lips that are called tracks. The studs are meant to sit inside and normal to a track, just like so. One of the many reasons people like to frame with light gauge steel is that the tools involved are quite simple. All you need is a drill, a pair of sheet metal snips, drywall screws, and metal self-tapping screws. Since these metal studs can have sharp edges, working with gloves and any other protection is recommended. If you're not using pre-cut pieces, luckily, cutting these steel members is fairly simple. All you need is a pair of metal snips. First, snip the flanges. And then, hold the cut over so it creates a crease for you to cut along. This particular piece is a thicker gauge of scrap metal, so it's a little tougher to snip through than a typical center gauge piece used for wall framing. Also be done much quicker with a power nibbler or a metal cutting saw. To connect these pieces together, typical drywall screws can be used. These are 6 gauge coarse threads. Finer threads are better as they grip the metal easier, but these work just fine. These are first used to screw the tracks directly to a plywood or other type of surface like this to create the bottom channel for the wall frame. For track to stud connections, these self tapping 7 gauge screws are used. Once you mark your spacing on the track, we use 16 inch on center. Then you can begin fastening the studs to the track with the self tapping screws. Initially, one screw is used at each joint until the top track was ready to be laid on top. After securing the top and squaring out the members, extra screws should be added to prevent any lateral movement of the studs. Here, you can also see the pre-cut service holes in the studs. These are added so that wires and other conduit can easier be run through without drilling. Plastic caps can also be added to protect any wires from the edges of the steel in the holes. Once the metal frame is complete, Drywall can now be added just like normal to the frame. Now, fine thread drywall screws can be used to simply attach the drywall. And then, you can admire your beautiful little wall that you just created. This is Damien from US Frame Factory. Thanks for watching.